Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Migrant with family of 26 awarded $34k slash year in benefits for sick reason, about to get more. Migrant Gage, a 49-year-old former self-employed car salesman, is currently playing the welfare system for all it's worth and making a bundle doing so. Gage resides in Germany and has four wives and is currently designated as a refugee. He has 22 children and plans to have more, which will make him even more money from the welfare system. He rakes in a whopping $33,854 a year in child benefits slash welfare according to an estimate from a German financial manager. That's just obscene. Even with that amount though, it is hard to see how that household gets by. The taxpayers in Germany are paying for this man, his wives, and their children to not work and live off the state and their money. Just wow. Geja comes from Syria where multiple wives and families such as his are not unheard of. But in Germany, this arrangement is not welcome and German citizens are furious that they are having to pay for it. They are clamoring for a change to the law because of it. Politicians no doubt see this as padding a leftist voting base and because of political correctness, don't seem to be interested in addressing the problem. It wasn't always this way for this man. When he lived in Syria. He used to earn money with his car sharing and car service business which covered raising his extended plan. When he migrated from his country to Germany, he started collecting state benefits and welfare and quit working. This is a story that is common in Europe as millions of refugees flood those countries. They arrive in welcoming countries and do not work. They just collect taxpayer-funded checks that keep on arriving. Geja has one grown daughter as well, who now resides in Saudi Arabia. The United States is certainly not immune to this kind of scenario. Between the poor in our own country, illegal immigrants and tens of thousands of refugees, we are funding these families who do not work and instead subsist off state welfare rolls. The U.S. has resettled over 3 million refugees since 1980. It takes its financial toll on all of us. It's one thing if someone comes here, gets work and makes something of themselves. It's something entirely different if they just live on welfare and benefits. Not to mention having multiple wives in the U.S. is illegal, but it is highly doubtful that those that bring multiple wives will be charged for it as it is a cultural-slash-religious thing. Give President Trump his due here. He has all but stopped most of the refugee resettlement that exploded under Obama. However, since October 1, 2017, we have still admitted 14,887 refugees for a variety of reasons from across the globe. Obama was bringing in hundreds of thousands, so there is perspective here. This is why vetting and verifying that migrants are compatible as Americans is important. They need to have a skill set that benefits our country. President Trump believes that migrants should not be eligible for welfare for a period of time after coming here and I agree with him. It should be noted that Germany technically does not allow multiple wives either, but there is always a way around that. Geja could apply with one official wife and then each of his other wives could apply separately. There are similar cases of such welfare abuse in this country. It turns out he opted for his main wife Twasif and five children, while the other three women have been officially labeled his partners by authorities and are receiving separate benefits. But the ending is still the same as the husband controls the money coming in. His other three wives had to split their children between them and were moved into various neighboring communities. I assume he splits his time between his multiple households over this. Many in Germany consider this way of life the new norm, especially when the country has mandated open borders. It is a story playing out over and over in Europe these days sadly. It is destroying the economies of whole countries and there is no end in sight. Welfare has a place to help those who need a hand up. But it was never meant to be a permanent crutch. No family should be bigger than can be provided for no matter what your religious or cultural beliefs are. I don't see how this man could possibly make enough money to support his extended family here and Germans will be footing their bill indefinitely it looks like. Welfare is also not that other way of making money, or at least. It shouldn't be. But there are a lot of people out there that are adept at beating the system and making a great deal of money off of it. It happens here in the US as well. Many play a calculated game with welfare instead of using it to help them get on their feet. The more children you have, the more money you get. The Germans are not denying the family benefits here, but have implemented some rules. However, once they let the unvetted migrants in, they agreed to provide for the family. Geja will continue to not work and live off the Germans as long as they allow it. One wonders exactly how long that will be. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.